hundred millions of people that watch my videos. Majority of them aren't subscribed. I don't know why. So do me a favor, hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos, and hit that thumbs up so the algorithm knows she can go to the top. Welcome to Texas Beard Adventures. I'm Brad Harrow, your host, and today we're talking about roof racks on Suzuki Sidekicks. I've been asked several times to make this video and uh, just never got around to it, but here we go. So this is my 1995 Suzuki Sidekick JX, and I have been building this rig. It's uh, my quote unquote uh, hunting vehicle, bug out vehicle, ranch vehicle, besides the uh, OBS over there. And oh, there's a Suzuki Samurai right over there. That's my father's. I've been building this rig for probably five or six years now. Uh, a little bit at a time. I'll, I'll, I'll have a trip coming up and uh, do a bunch of stuff and then I'll stop and, you know, get on something else or whatever. And then I'll just, I'll do stuff in phases. And um, one of the things that I did first was I built this rack. It's inch and a half square tubing with some expanded metal on top. Um, I was able to attach that to the roof. So you had this weather stripping right here, okay? You pull that weather stripping up and there is a lip right here on top. And I took some three quarter inch square, um, sorry, some three quarter inch angle iron and the roof has got a curve on it, okay? Just slightly. So what I did was I took that, that angle iron right there and I cut a notch in the middle. So that way in the middle right here, it would kind of match the curvature of the roof. So took that, I screwed it. I took self tappers and I screwed a couple spots, I think two or three, I lifted the, the weather streaming up and screwed that to this. Then I took some of uh, the Kindorf or Unistrut as they call it, which in in plumbing we use this quite a bit. This is inch and a half Unistrut or Kindorf. Took that, I bolted it. You see that bolt right there, I bolted it to there. And then I have this rack up here. I made this rack and I took some three quarter inch pipe and I think you could barely see it right right there. That is a Unistrut clamp, three quarter Unistrut clamp. I took that and I, I bolted this or clamped this uh, piece of pipe down to it. So I've got two pieces of pipe. I've got one here and then I've got one over here. Okay. And that's what holds this inch and a half square tubing rack onto my Unistrut, which is bolted to this three quarter angle arm. It is kind of crooked right now because my son was driving it a while back and I was letting him learn and he ended up hitting a cedar tree and he broke the screws loose on this side. Also on this piece of three quarter angle iron, the screws are not holding it on to here. It's just the weight of the rack is holding it down and this thing kind of moves. I don't know if you can see how it's kind of cocked right now. I got to push that back and then re-screw it down. That's for another day. Also have um, a solar panel with some more Unistrut. I bought that, this solar panel I bought from Har Harbor Freight. I've got a spare tire up there. I've got uh, two jerry cans. One has fuel. The other one on the other side has water. And then of course we have all of our light bars. This one's got some humidity condensation in it. This one's still good. The other one on the other side is still good. I'll put a card in one of the corners for how to make that homemade snorkel out of some PVC fittings. Also made, this is a hand watering deal that I made out of some more PVC fittings. So you can get cleaned up and you're on the trail, what have you. Uh, I added a shovel on there with some clamps and I've got my high lift jack right here. The, the way that we built this, uh, it just kind of 
came together. Um, I had some material at the house, and I was like, you know, maybe we could figure this out. Me and Doug did it one day, and um, I started off with this and this, and then I just had that, okay, which is the inch and a half squared tubing on the bottom, uh, and that was all bolted down. I did not have this top rack, which that is like a 7 8 unistrut, and I built that with my jerry can holders over there. And uh, I just been adding to it little by little. So I hope this helps you in your necessity to have a roof rack on your Suzuki Sidekick. Um, I highly recommend it because it adds a lot of extra space onto um, a vehicle that doesn't have a bed, right? So you you're very limited on space. It did, does have the extra two doors on it, um, so that helps out with keeping stuff. You know, if you don't have people back here, you can put extra stuff here, of course. But, um, yeah. Oh, and then that, that spare tire is on there with a uh, an old Jeep um, spare tire holder, and I welded that on there. You're definitely going to need to know how to weld. Hopefully, you do know how to weld. And there should be a piece of cake for you because it's not that complicated. I also did that that cut right here on that unistrut. I did a cut very similar. So, because like I said, the roof is curved. It's kind of a pain to get that curve to match if you don't have that cut in there. Actually, the, the it won't match, so you have to put it in. All right, so this is it from the top. So I've got my water jerry can, my fuel jerry can there. There is, you see how crooked that light bar is? That was from when he hit it and those came loose and that wiggled that way. But anyway, it's got this, uh, it's got the, the solar panel there. It's pretty sturdy, you know? And it, I've never, never had any problems with it besides when my son hit the cedar tree. Never had any problems with it. Well, wiggling loose or or anything coming coming loose driving down the trail or anything so been really sturdy uh as far as that goes leave a comment down below if you have any questions on my build on the rack or even just anything else that i've done to it I also have a lift kit video that i'll put a link down below in the description leave a comment if you have a suggestion on what i could do to this to make it better that i haven't thought about because you know i mean i'm a pretty smart guy but i, I can't think of everything I hope you enjoyed this episode of Texas Bit of Adventures. Do me a favor. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Check me out on Instagram at Texas Bit of Adventures. Me and the wife of the kitties do all kinds of crazy stuff over there. And I'll catch you on the flip side. You dang hillbillies. Mother trucker, bike and decker, Mississippi River.